Hi guys, in this video, we will discuss another problem on heap. Uh, this problem, I don't understand why they have complicated things a little bit. I think just to use a min heap, they have uh, used it for the sake of it. I don't know why it was needed. Let us see what the problem is. Given an array of integers, we have to find the kth largest sum of contiguous subarray. So problem statement is simple. You can read it. It is not at all difficult. So array will contain negative and positive numbers, which will not affect us in a big way, but still. So what is the problem saying? For example, if the array is suppose one, two, three, four, then what are all the possible sub arrays? One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, Two, two, three, two, three, four, three, three, four. So what is the sum of this one? This will be three. This is six. This is 10. This is two. This is five. This is nine. This is three. And this is seven. Now, out of all these sums, if I say I want to find out k at largest, suppose k is equal to four. What is the fourth largest? So what you should do, you should arrange them in... Uh, decreasing order how will it be then 10 9 7 6 so you can arrange the remaining elements the fourth largest will be 6 right so this is what they are asking return this answer so in order to solve this problem what this article is about uh, it is about min heap and basically they are using brute force method only they are using brute force method wherein they are making use of pre, uh, prefix sum. They are calculating uh, the prefix sum of the array and then uh, using a nesting nested for loop, they are calculating uh, the sum of the sub array i comma j. So they are calculating sum of the sub array i comma j. And how are they doing that? Basically, they have taken a prefix array called sum. And if you do sum of j minus sum of i minus 1, you will get the sum of the sub array from index i to index j. Like that, they are calculating the sum of each and every sub array and putting this inside a min heap. They are using min heap over here. And they are putting this inside a min heap. And ultimately, after the entire process ends, the top element of the min heap will be the kth largest. Instead of doing all this circus, why can't you just uh, sort it? I mean, if you're taking a min heap, anyway, you're going to use extra space. So instead of making the time complexity n square log k, or I think it is going to be log k square also, I don't know or maybe it's going to be n square log k only. Instead of making this n square log k, you can just make it n square because sorting will take n log n and you will need another, uh, uh, basically you need another array to store all the sum of sub arrays. After that, just sort this array. It will take n log n and uh, sort it in reverse order and return the k minus one th element which will be the kth largest sub array. So this also could be done, right? See, what they have done is, if I show the code, they have taken the prefix sum in a array called sum, okay? After that, they have declared a priority queue, which is a min heap. And see, they are using nested for loop in order to find out the sub array from index i to index j for all i from 1 to n and j from i to n. So this is brute force method. This is how you find out for each and every sub array. I don't think there is any other method to find out for every sub array what is the sum. Now they are using a priority queue and they are just inserting the elements in the min heap. Some of you might get confusion why min heap, why not max heap? So basically they're checking the top element of the heap. If it is less than the sum, then 
they are removing that element and pushing the sum like this if you keep doing ultimately at the top you will get the kth largest just pause the video and think about it by yourself you can't use a max heap because if you are using max heap top element will be maximum and if you remove that you won't uh, you will be distorting you won't get the kth largest element so you can't use max heap actually you should use min heap because then only you will be able to get top element as the kth largest which is what we want to find if you use max heap you will get wrong answer so to understand this take a test case example and try it by yourself or let me only show you see for example uh, this let us take this example only these are the sub array sums these are the sub array sum right so until i so uh, until the min heap ha is having a size of k i should keep inserting the elements so how will the elements be inserted in this order only 1 3 6 10 so as soon as uh, sorry 1 3 6 as soon as the min heap size is about to become uh, equal to k so when 2 comes i will check is this top element less than 2 yes i will remove this top element and i'll put over here then 5 will come i will check with top element is a 2 less than 5 yes i'll remove and put over here then what i will do then similarly i will check like this then i will find out the kth largest element so it will take some space for me i don't know how to show you but i think you get the point like my point was to tell you that you can't use max heap you have to use min heap because the only way you can access any element is the top element you have to make sure the top element becomes the kth largest element so that is what they are doing here in this code if q dot top is less than the sub array sum the sub array sum is this if it is less then they are popping that and pushing that sum if q dot size is less than k they are pushing each and every sum so that is what i was trying to tell i hope you are able to understand take some time pause the video and write by yourself so the code is given here and this problem is not at all difficult you can see it by yourself but my confusion was this only you could have used sorting instead of using uh, priority queue and the time complexity now becomes n square log n comment down below if i am telling the right thing or if i am wrong comment down your opinion is it correct should you use sorting instead should you just store it in another array but if you store it in another array the space complexity might increase over here space complexity is o of k because at max you will have only k elements so i think sorting would be a much better method anyway that's all for this video share it with all your friends like it subscribe to my channel take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned Bye